The bowling basketball team has already clinched an outright Western Big Six title tonight. The Maroons took aim at perfection. Moline one victory away from the first undefeated Western Big Six run since Rock Island in 2014. The Maroons invading Donmore's gym tonight to take on Alleman first quarter in this one. Western Big Six champs come out firing. Brock Harding buries the three. Moline with an early three-point lead. Next trip down, it's Harding with the fancy pass to Grant Welch. He buries three more of his own. A quick 6 nothing start from Moline. Later in the first, more Moline, more sharing. It's Harding, another pretty fine to Maddox Deakman, Deakman I should say, for the bucket inside. Moline up 8-2 early on. Alleman looking to answer, though. Lincoln Dorsey finds a wide open DJ Baker on the cut. And Pioneers back within four, but Moline just too much in this one. Owen Freeman catching, going baseline, and finishing with two hands. Moline back up eight at this point. They cap off that perfect 14-0 run through the Western Big Six, 69-28. Your final score. United Township with their eye on history as well. Panthers looking for a school record 25th regular season victory at Geneseo. Maple Leafs trying to stay close early on. Landon, Landon Nordstrom going baseline for the bucket. The freshman continues a solid senior season, but it's all Panthers in this one. Amarian Roberts pushing the pace and scoring in transition. Later, it's UT filling it up from deep. Jackson Hogan with the three. He buries that one. Panthers up by 32. Then it's Caden Terrell. The senior does a little bit of everything for Ryan Weber's Panthers. He gets the bucket right there. UT rolls in this one 80 to 24. They finish the regular season 25 and 6 overall. Elsewhere in the Western Big Six, Sterling best Rock Island by 14. Quincy 11 points better than Galesburg. Let's get to the back now. Pleasant Valley looking to clinch an outright MAC title. At Clinton, third quarter, home team trying to hang tough. Darius Lomax goes inside out, knocks down the bucket. But this one all Spartans from start to finish. Coy Kipper, the drive and dish to Max Moslaski for the bucket. PV up big. A few trips later, it's Carter Olmquist finding Owen Wright for a, another bucket as he goes baseline for the finger roll. PV up 77, 28 at that point. The Spartans claim that outright Mac title, 83-38. Your final score. Good matchup over at the Falcons Nest. 11 and 5. Davenport West battling 12 and 4. North Scott. Second quarter. Lancers adding to their lead. Tyler Girardi, the bullet pass inside to Kayvon Phillips for the bucket. North Scott up by 10. West, though, would fire back. Cleo Gradberry gets free in the corner, knocks down the trifecta. Falcons back within seven. A few trips later, it's Devontae Bradford with the nice look inside to Landon Winston for another hoop. West back within five. Lancers respond late second quarter. It's Tyler Watkins dishing to Phillips for two more. North Scott by seven at that point. This one goes down to the wire, goes to overtime. Falcons earn an impressive 64-57 victory. Let's get to the ladies now where the postseason is in full swing on both sides of the river. We start in 4A. Moline making the trip south to normal to battle the Ironman first quarter, Maroons with a great start. Paige Melton drives and scores inside. Moline with an early lead a few trips later. It's Layla Jackson getting free, knocking in two more. Moline with, an, with a six nothing start to the game. More Maroons this time in transition. Jackson to Melton for two more. Moline playing very well early on, but Normal would right the ship late first quarter. They knocked down the trifecta here. It was tied at 16 after the first quarter. Home team, though, goes on to win this one, 72-49. Your final score in 3A. Galesburg and Sterling colliding at the Dixon Regional. First quarter streaks come out firing. Kara Kilgore sights, shoots, bullseye. Galesburg up three early on. More streaks. It's Antonia Kissler feeding Kilgore, who fights through the defense, gets the ball, and tosses it up and in with the left hand. Galesburg up 7-2. Sterling looking to answer. Olivia Tucker drives in, hops her way to the bucket, gets this one to go off the window. Golden Warriors back within just three, but Galesburg just too much in this one. It's Capri Ferguson getting her own rebound and getting it to Kistler as she gets the bucket inside. Streaks up 14-5 at that point. They never look back. Galesburg advances 54-32. Their final score. Galesburg will get rival Rock Island Friday night. Rock Island edges Dixon in overtime, 45-44. And in 3-8, Geneseo, Bess Morris as well. Any worth with career point number 1,000 in that game. In 2-A, regional in Alito, Sherrard's Violet Meskin with the big three right here. It's a 10-point lead 
over Orion. Soon after, Violet blooms once again. Maskin sees the opening dashes in for the layup. Tigers still with the lead. Orion battles back. It's Cameron downtown Brown with the three-pointer. Chargers get a little closer. More from Orion. They cut in the lead once again. Sophia Fernandez cuts to the hoop and gets the bucket. Nice pass from Jenny Abbott. But the sectional's top seed, too much in this one. It's Addison Pickens from beyond the stripe. Gerard advances 51-29, your final in that one. The other semifinal down at Mercer County was Mercer County taking on, uh, if we go to that game, there we go, there's Jim Taylor. Mercer County thinking upset on their home court. Gabriella McPeak hits the mid-range jumper. Eagles lead Knoxville by four. Blue Bullets counter. Ella Hebbard dips into the paint. Uses the glass nicely. Mirko continues to maintain the edge. Sydney Lampkin with the find to Molly Hoffman for the bucket. Later in the second quarter, Knoxville's Hebbard drives and scores with the floater. That cuts lead to two. The Eagles, though, have an answer. Lampkin with the nice look to Halley. Schurz for the hoop. Knoxville ties it twice in the fourth quarter, but it's the Eagles. One in this one, 38-31. They'll play Schurz for a regional championship coming up on Friday night. Elsewhere in 2A, Alman bests Rock Falls 42-37. The Pioneers get Stillman Valley for a regional championship coming up on Friday night. The ladies in Iowa in full swing in the postseason. Kalmus Wheatland hosting Bellevue Marquette first quarter. Ava KV finding a Katie Hine inside for the bucket. It's a 4-0 early lead. A few trips later, it's KV again, this time doing the honors herself as she buries one from the top of the key, it's 7-2 Warriors early on. Later in the first, more for the same. Kaylee Hill finds KV for another jumper. That puts Kawit up for good. Uh, later on, it's Hine for two more. Warriors moving on. We'll show you a final score. 50-39, Kawit gets the victory as well.